this video, I want to talk about how to get Zoom to play back on channels 9 and 10 on your Tascam Model 12 because, again, this is one of those instances where, say, for example, you're on a call on Zoom and you want to run things through your Model 12, but you don't want the USB audio from Zoom returning on channels 1 and 2. What do you do? Well, here's the trouble. If you... Uh, if you saw my previous video, if you go and you set your output device to model 12, it will want to default to sending to channels 1 and 2. And again, the problem with that is that it's two separate physical channels, so there's separate faders, separate knobs, so you can end up with some mismatched settings. You also are using the only two channels on the Tascam Model 12 that have external sidechain opportunities for it. And so what we went through in the last video was setting up the outputs to actually go out from the Model 12 through channels 9 and 10 on the Model 12. And how you did that again is you opened up the audio MIDI setup, open your Model 12, and you configure speakers to come out channels 9 and 10. So now all of my system audio from my Mac is going to channels 9 and 10. All of my system audio save for Zoom. I had one of my viewers ask the question, how do I get Zoom out to channels 9 and 10? Because if I set it to the system playback, even with our setup here, we end up getting Zoom coming out of channels 1 and 2. As far as I can tell, unfortunately, there's no way to fix that from within Zoom. There's no option to say, okay, I want to send out the Model 12 and then to tell it which channels to come out of it just defaults to one and two. So this is again where you're gonna have to find some third party application plugin to use to accomplish this. So that said, my favorite go-to is Loopback. Loopback is fantastic software for routing on Mac. And here's what I have set up to get our Zoom output to the Model 12 on tracks nine and 10. So what you see here, is when I create a new virtual device in Loopback, it defaults to have this pass-through option. What pass-through is, is you can assign outputs of software on your Mac, such as Zoom, to pass through this device. You can name it whatever you want, and then you can pass audio out to a different output, and then you can add monitors in. Let's set this up so that the audio coming from Zoom no longer routes to the physical channels 1 and 2 on the Tascam Model 12, but rather they go to channel 9 and 10. So here's what you do. You'd leave this on pass-through so that we have the ability to send our Zoom signal to loopback. Volume at 100 is fine. Output channels 1 and 2 is fine because we're not actually using these to send our audio. We actually need to send it out to a physical device rather than just a virtual device. So we need to add a monitoring device. Essentially, how are we going to hear this externally? And so we'll say we're going to send it to the Model 12. And from here, it's as simple as deleting the connections from 1 and 2 and then making connections to 9 and 10. So now we are saying... Zoom comes into the pass-through audio, goes into virtual output channels 1 and 2, which are actually heard physically on the Tascam Model 12 channels 9 and 10, which again is a single fader, single channel strip stereo channel. So it makes things a lot easier to route your audio that way. So again, it's unfortunate that Zoom doesn't give us the ability to differentiate channels here. But now that we've got this set up and it's simply called Loopback Audio, let's let's change that title here and let's call this Zoom to M12 V2. So then in my Zoom output, I would simply select Zoom to Model 12 V2. And now, as you can see, if we go back to Loopback here, then when I push the test speaker button, you can see that audio is being routed to the pass-through device, out the virtual output, and then I am hearing it coming in channels 9 and 10 on the Tascam Model 12. Sounds like this. And again, I have full control of it on a single fader. Works just fine. But you can do everything that you want to do on channels 9 and 10. And then you can bring it back into your device if you want. I use this option called Model 12 loopback that we made in a previous video. Check that out if you haven't already. This is super handy because then I'm able to send my main bus, channels 11 and 12, 
back into my computer on channels one and two so that other instances, such as the screen recorder, can get the entire input from my Model 12. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.